Welcome to Digital Exposure TV. Today I'm going to show you how you can get proper shadows like these on your alpha images because I was building these um, ferns the other day for a video game and I realized that all my shadows weren't coming out like this, they were coming out like this. So as you can imagine this is clearly not acceptable. You, can, you can't even see any light passing through the leaves. You've just got these massive squares where the images with alpha backgrounds are. So let me show you what I mean. This is what the scene looks like. Well, I say scene, you know, <laughs> this little staged area to show you what's happening. So these are all the objects and that's all you're seeing is the objects um, the objects shadows there you go so you saw the old shadow there and there is the new one so I'm gonna show you how we can import a image with alpha channels and we can cut the alpha background out and how we can get the appropriate shadow without getting this big blocky shadow in the way so the first thing we need to do is start on a new page and we are going to add in a floor so we need some kind of surface for the shadow to be falling on so i'm just going to add a plane in there and we're just going to add a material and i've just kind of blown up this pane in the right hand side here just to show you and the next thing we need is we're going to need our image with an alpha channel so i'm going to import images planes and we're going to add my fern in there and I'm just going to blow that up a little bit so that you can see it properly. And the third thing we need, just so that I can show you actually, well, I need the light first. So the third thing we need is a light. We need a base for our shadow to fall on. We need something to cast a shadow, which in this case is a fern. And we also need our light. So we're just going to add a light in, add lamp. And I'm going to just go with a sun lamp for now. I might change it to a spot lamp if it helps to explain this a little better. Okay, so now if we look at this in material mode, you'll be able to get a better idea of what's happening here. So we've got just a flat surface, then we've got our flat image, and when you have an image with no background in Blender, it comes out basically black like this and if you don't know how to import image as planes i've got a tutorial on my channel of that first so you might as well go and watch that first so we've got our three elements we've got our floor we've got our object and we've got our light and that's all we need to create the proper shadows so the first thing we're going to do is cut out this leaf i just wanted to show you this quickly in case you don't know how to do it so we go to the material tab then we skip over to the texture tab and just ignore this texture below it. That's something else I was working on. This is our texture and we've gone to show alpha and it will show up properly in a moment. Then go to use alpha. Now normally you would go to permeated, but when you want the right shadows and the right cutout for things like this, straight works better. So you go down again, we'll go down to influences and just click on alpha and leave it at one full. Then we go back into our uh, material tab and you'll see the black hasn't vanished yet. So we need to go to transparency, click Z transparency, then turn the alpha and the specular all the way down. Okay, and now you can see in our viewport, we now have a transparent image with the uh, full image on top. So I guess you could say it's a full image with a transparent background that you can see through. However, if we go into rendered mode now, the rendered viewport, there is no shadow whatsoever, which is interesting. So what we need to do first to get this shadow to appear is go into our light and it doesn't matter what type of light you've got, whether it's a spotlight or a sunlight or whatever, you just need to check this box on the right that says no shadow and check it to ray shadow. Once you've checked that box, you'll find that when we rendered it, you can see we've got our leaf 
and then it's casting a shadow, but you're only seeing the shadow of the full actual um, image. Let's just change that image color so we can see it a little better and it stands out. Let's make it just kind of dark. There you go. So there's our image. And you see when we go to rendered, you can only see a shadow of that particular object. But we want to see through the object, through the transparent layer. And it's really simple because once you've checked that lamp as ray shadow, then we know it's going to cast a shadow using our object. And the only thing left to do is have that shadow be the appropriate shadow where it goes through the alpha layer. And that shadow is now determined by what the um, shadow is being cast onto, which in this case is just this big square plane at the bottom. So if we go back into rendered mode now, I know it's not very clear because it's not a proper render, it's just like a viewport. You can see that square shadow, right? But we've selected this plane on the bottom and all we need to do is go down to shadow and click on receive transparent. And as soon as you click that, bang, there is your proper shadow. Now if we go to the camera angle and I will actually render this now as an image. There we go. And you can see there is our leaf floating and the correct shadow. So that's all it is. It's, it's that simple, but it's one of those pain in the ass things that if you don't know how to do it and there's no particular good documentation on this specific thing, it will drive you crazy. Um, I spent hours farting around with it to try and figure it out. And when I finally figured it out, I thought it would be nice to share it with you guys because I know you guys are out there and you're trying to create things and it's difficult because, you know, you're learning from this person and that person and, you know, you might not be learning a, co a coherent um, lessons, you know, in education or anything. So it's nice to find little tidbits of information like this. So I hope this has helped you guys out. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know anyone else who's using Blender, please share this video with them so that they don't have to mess around and get stressed out trying to figure this out because I think this is really helpful. Um, yeah, uh, I've got a bunch of other tutorials if you want to check them out. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe for more videos.